And uh, over to our left on the table, I hope you saw the vegetables. Patty went out this morning. Patty Watson, our assistant director, she went out this morning and, believe it or not, picked all that right here in our garden. <laughs> I just make stuff up. Next, I'd like to introduce Jerry Sargent. He's the president of Citizens Bank and my latest very best friend. Thank you, Mary. Now I know how I, now I know what to do to make friends. <laughs> well, anyway, it's a real pleasure uh, to be here this morning and to recognize uh, the Family pa uh, Pantry as our newest champion in action. Um, this is a program that we have partnered with NECN uh, back in 2002. And since that partnership began, we've now recognized 35 uh, not-for-profit agencies uh, that represents $875,000 in unrestricted grants and represents over 10,000 uh, free public service minutes that we've provided to these organizations. So we're very proud of that. We're also really proud of the cadre of organizations that we have actually recognized over, over this time period. Uh, they all have different missions. Uh, they all have different purposes, but the one thing in common is that they're here to serve our communities. They're here to lift our communities up and really extend themselves to the part of our population that has the most need. And it's in that vein that I welcome the Family Pantry uh, into this esteemed group of, of organizations that we've recognized over the years. Uh, the thing I would tell you, one of the reasons, uh, there are a few reasons actually why we were really uh, so taken back by the work that's being done by Mary and Patty and uh, their core volunteers. Uh, the first is that it's no accident that over their 21-year history, they have become the largest food pantry on the Cape, uh, now serving, as I understand it, over 900 families each month. That's an incredible impact. Uh, the second thing that impressed me about this organization is their willingness to embrace partnerships. And, uh, and I take the, uh, the Greater Boston Food Bank partnership that has helped this organization extend its reach to every city and town uh, in the Cape, uh, or on the Cape, I should say, uh, and now even beyond the Cape. So this organization has grown through partnerships, and I think that's really important uh, in today's environment. And the last thing that I would say is the resourcefulness of this, uh, of this staff and management team to with two staffers to create an organization with this kind of an impact and to have such an engaged board of directors, I think is very telling about the organization itself. And it was just yesterday that I think some of you may have read uh, in the Boston Globe the Feeding America survey in the, uh, the really difficult numbers around hunger that still exist in our community. If I get the statistic right, it's something like 88 million meals are missing if we're to feed every resident in Massachusetts three square meals a day. And these are huge numbers. They're daunting. And, and these numbers haven't been getting better over the last five years. They've been made uh, more difficult by the harsh economic reality that we've all seen. And so, Mary, uh, I thank you and your organization for everything that you're doing in our community. Uh, I know we're joined uh, this morning by the Greater Boston Food Bank, Kathleen. I'm looking forward to your remarks because you're a wonderful partner in all of this as well. So it's nice to see you here. And uh, I'd be remiss not to acknowledge uh, my colleagues like Warren Bateman and his daughter Kayla who are volunteering uh, here at the pantry every week. And it's just so wonderful to see. I'd like to give them a round of applause. And so, uh, what does it mean to be a champion? Uh, so with your new championship status, uh, you will receive uh, incredible media support from NECN, which you're gonna hear about in a minute from Bill. Uh, you will receive some volunteerism support, and uh, you will also receive uh, some promotional materials I think this is it, huh, Noreen? This, and I think there's some here. This will go in uh, our 257 branches in Massachusetts, uh, certainly including the 25 here on Cape Cod, uh, just to help promote the effort in what you're doing. And I guess last but not least, uh, I would now like to present you with a $25,000 check from the Citizens Bank Foundation. Brittany 
Spears kids. <laughs> Now uh, I'd like to turn this over to uh, Bill Bridgen, who is the Executive Vice President and General Manager for NECN. And as I do that, I'd just like to say, this partnership with NECN, we, we hear, uh, you know, yes, the, the, the grants are great. Uh, the organizations really appreciate the grants. But our partnership with NECN, I think, has been really special because what we hear repeatedly is about the media support that we get. And so, Bill, we appreciate that partnership with NECN in this program, and uh, may it live a long time into the future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know, uh, working in the news business, a lot of times the, the stories are tough to deliver, and, and coming to an event like today is just a pure pleasure for, for me and for the entire NECN team to work on. Um, so thank you for the opportunity to be involved in, in this kind of endeavor. You know, I wanted to, to point out something that Citizens Bank does, um, you know, just one of the examples that they do. Uh, too often, corporate leadership goes unnoticed, and, and we at NECN get a chance to tell that because we have 24 hours a day of news to talk about. <laughs> so, but, um, but one of the things that in, in working on uh, and, and reading about uh, everything the Family Pantry does, it came to my attention that in December of 2010, Citizens Bank's foundation uh, donated or provided a $100,000 grant so that a refrigerated truck could be uh, leased so that the Greater Boston Food Bank could provide service to places like the, the Cape, you know, and, and the, the key to getting food is getting it to, to, to the right people as fast as possible so that the nutrient value doesn't drop. Uh, and with that refrigerated truck, um, it's now, you know, and it's delivering right into this uh, facility right here, uh, it happens. So, you know, that's, uh, I, I want to thank everyone at Citizens Bank, the Citizens Bank Foundation, um, for that leadership. So, thank you, uh, Jerry, to your, your team and your organization. And Mary, uh, I want to echo everything Jerry said about the, uh, the, the work that you and your staff do. I mean, it really is an amazing, and, and I, I hope that the story we, the piece that we do, uh, shines the right light on it. But um, you know, with with uh, just a few staffers and 230 volunteers um, servicing service, servicing 15 communities in the Cape, it's really a daunting task. But something that hit me. Um, just sort of to the, you know, to the core is that in the 21 years of this organization, you've never turned anyone away. The food bank, you know, has never, the uh, family pantry has never run out of food and not provided the service that it's here today. So a tribute to you and the organization and everyone that's, that's ever worked here. So thank you for all that you do. So with that said, I'll, uh, I'll get to my true purpose here, which is to introduce the, uh, the NECN piece that will run at 4 p.m. Uh, today. Uh, and then we'll repeat it uh, thereafter. Skip, do you know the, the run schedule? Garden, And as Angelo La Mancha said this morning, they never debated whether to give us the land. They just debated exactly how it needed to be done. We have fabulous support from the town of Harwich. That's wonderful. And the license is for five years, is that correct? Yes. That's wonderful. Now, standing with me are some very important people to the pantry. Patty Watson, the assistant director, Sarah Chase, and Don Melbier. They are all part of the garden committee. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing, Don? The garden committee was formed back in October, and Sarah, uh, uh, Kyle Milbier, and uh, Patty Watson uh, ended up being the committee, and we've been working on it for the last five months and now it is actually in action and we have everything almost ready to be planted in the next two weeks so there'll be deer fence and there'll be uh, to keep the animals out and then we'll have the apple trees pear trees uh, blackberries blueberries strawberries as well as the regular vegetables wonderful and can you tell us a little bit about the volunteers patty that will be helping in collecting all of this produce 
We'll have volunteers for each shift uh, that the pantry is open on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday mornings. And we're looking for hardy volunteers to come help us weed and harvest and plant. And it's going to be a lot of fun with the great community garden. So please come on out. If you um, are interested in volunteering, you can call me right here at the pantry and we can talk about it. Wonderful. And Sarah, you must be very excited about this morning's development. I am very excited and I am very happy to have been involved in this project. And I have to say that both Don and Patty put in countless hours to help coordinate this along with Mary. And I, as I said, I'm very proud to be involved in this project. It's really taking shape. Oh, it's, it's a wonderful project. Yes, Don? Uh, one other thing I'd really like to stress is that the partnership that Patty brought to our attention and, and Patty and I had the pleasure of going over to the, the tech school here in Harwich is, is the uh, horticultural department's uh, outreach programs or community programs. So this week we have six to eight students that, will, that are here working on the garden and next week we will have the same number but there'll be juniors instead of seniors and it was all thanks to Mr. DeVecchio who coordinated that with Patty. So we, uh, we want to stress how important that segment is. And the other thing is, um, I think that there are companies, you want to listen? Yeah. Uh, there are some companies and people that we'd like to recognize uh, for their major contributions to this project. Okay, now this is like the Academy Awards, so uh, try not to give me the hook, because it's been an incredible um, outpouring of support from the community, but I can't name one without naming all. Uh, number one is obviously Patrice Landscaping, Kyle Melbeer, Don Melbeer, uh, one of our directors, and Mike Flanagan. The Robert B. Auer Company, uh, John Auer. The Tree Company, Mike Mann. Childs Excavating, Catherine Childs. That group right there spent I don't know how many hours because right in back of us was a whole bunch of trees. So the trees had to come down, the stumps had to be cleared, there was grading. I, I can't imagine what it would have cost us to do that, but that was donated equipment and labor. It was incredible. Uh, Pro Fence, Joe McLaughlin. The Farm, Sassy Roach. Mark Coleman and Sons. Crowell Construction, Keith Mucha. Aggregate Industries, Barry Powers, Cape Cod Ready Mix, Rich Grout and Rich Sylvia, and Agway, Josh Wiles. I'm sure there will be many more in the, in the coming phases, but that group has really made what you see in back of us possible. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Mary, and thank you all for your time. And it's wonderful to see this all, this idea come to fruition in front of our eyes. And how many acres are going to be developed behind us for this garden, Mary? Um, not quite one. <laughs> not quite one. All right. <laughs> but it's big enough. It's huge. Yes, it's huge. It's huge. <laughs> and as always, there's always a need for volunteers. So please, if you're not already giving your time to the family pantry, please think about doing it in conjunction with this garden project. Thank you. Thank you all for your time. Thank you. Thank you.